Hello everyone. In this week's Torah portion, we learn about the story of Yosef and his brothers. Initially, the brothers had devised a plan to kill Yosef. And the oldest brother, Ruvi, hears about this plan. And he turns to them and he says, Lo na kenu nafesh. Let us not kill him. And they come up with a different plan. They throw him into a cave, into a pit, I'm sorry. And they sleep. The question is, you know, what was it about Ruvin's argument that convinced them? You know, the, the, the dialogue in the Torah that's recorded is very short, and we don't really know so much about it. What was it? They were enraged. They were furious. All they wanted to do was, you know, kill Yosef. And all of a sudden he says, you know, let's not kill him. And they listen. What was it about that argument? And the Rabbeinu B'chai, one of the very early commentaries on the Torah, he teaches us that it's all a matter of one word. Lo nakenu nafesh. He didn't say, Lo nakenu Yosef, let us not kill Yosef. He said, Lo nakenu nafesh, let us not kill a human being. And that one word is an important word. Because it's the difference between saying to them, you know, let's be compassionate you know, about Yosef, I'm worried about Yosef's blood, versus, you know, it's not good for you. Let's not sink so low to commit this terrible act of murder. We don't want to have this on our heads. If he would have said, be compassionate for Yosef, they would not have listened. They were too enraged. But he said, it's not going to be good for us to commit this act of murder. And this is a very important lesson. You know, when, when we're faced with a situation where we have to convince someone to do something positive, or to refrain from something negative, whether it's our children, or a friend, a colleague, you know, we have to learn how to focus, you know, not necessarily on the aspects of the situation that we're really interested in, but the points that the listener, that the person that we're trying to convince, can appreciate. You know, if we have a child and they're waking us up and we can't sleep, you know, to explain to such a young child, you know, stealing someone's sleep, it's really, you know, if you still sleep, it's really like stealing, they might not appreciate that. But if you turn to your child and say, listen, I really want to sleep right now and you're messing it up. You know, gotta be quiet. Maybe they'll listen. Or your child, you know, you need to take, you want to take out your child so your wife can, can, you know, have a nap or, you know, relax. You, know, you tell your child, you know what, Mommy really needs to relax. It's going to be really good for her. You know, if she relaxes, the child's not going to appreciate that. They're not going to want to go. But if you say, you know, let's go out together. We're going to get soda. We're going to get a Slurpee. They're going to be running for the door. Have a wonderful Shabbos. Together